Hello and welcome everybody to 1984. Now I know the history of TP Mills putters goes before 1984, but I'm going to talk about the 1984 TPM5 in particular. That's what this video is about, but we're going to discuss some other things. I have here a bouquet of TPM putters. Here's a 7. I also have this lovely stainless TPM4 with the Roman numeral. I mean, there's all sorts of these interesting putters. I have another one down here with a, I'll show you that one maybe close up. But when you look at a golf club, and I know I'm guilty of this, I look at a golf club from, let's say, modern, ultra modern tailor made, and instantly I'm like, they designed this to look good on the showroom floor and they're selling the looks. There are other putters or golf clubs that I look at and I'm like, this was designed by a golfer who is not so much interested in how it looks on the sales floor, but how it looks on the golf course. And when I looked at the TP Mills putters, instantly I'm like, this is designed by a golfer. This is a golfer's putter. Same with like the Ping Answer. That's why the Ping Answer was so amazing. I'm like, this isn't some shiny chrome Iron Master Wilson 8802. It's like, this is a golfer's putter. And that's what this is. The TPM5, absolutely gorgeous. I mean, at a dress on the golf course. So 1984, it's 2024 at the making of this video. So some quick math puts us 40 years ago, right? Somebody's like, it was 50 years ago. I'm pretty sure it's 80, 90, 2000, 10, 14, 24, 40 years. <laughs> Things I do on camera for you people. All right, so this putter, is a golfer's putter. Let's talk about some identifying features. Let's get it on the review table. So TP Mills are easy to recognize. You know, you get the dotted crosshair right here, the TPM. Uh, this one has an Arabic numeral, which gives it away as a 1984 carbon steel head here. Uh, it's not a Roman numeral. The Roman numerals came before and after they remade them. Uh, and also down here on the sole where it says precision ground, spalding in the middle, designed by TP Mills. I hope that shows up. And this particular one has the very iconic, what I recognize as the Spalding HB shape. I need to roll in a picture or something comparing this, but this is much more like the Spalding HB, the hollowback versus like say the Wilson 8802 or the Iron Master. Uh, when people see these flange putters, oftentimes I feel like they say they're, it's an 8802 style putter when, you know, I prefer the, Hollowback, the Spalding HB design more. So absolutely lovely. You can see the curve of the sole right here. This lovely flange curves with that. It just lines up real nice. Uh, what is that? Is that a single bend, double bend hosel right here? However that works, let me know in the comments below. And then you'll notice that the top line here, when you're looking down on it, there's all this blade back here, but it looks like there's kind of a short blade here between here and the hosel. So it is the center of gravity. It's just kind of, it looks off-centered, which, you know, to me looks really good at a dress, a little towing right here. But uh, this is very, you know, toe biased right there. Toe bias. All right. Well, that said, let me just roll in a couple of other things I want to show you. Uh, this one, you know, you can see the flanged shaft right here. And then this one has an aftermarket rubberized grip right here. Uh, but when you look back at some of the original Spalding, so here's a pre-1984 Spalding TPM9 right here. Again, this is a stainless steel one. You can see the stark contrast between the stainless steel and the carbon steel. Uh, I like both, but <laughs> what, it's just my preferences. Same thing, and on the sole, this one says Spalding Touring Pro model. So you can see, obviously see the difference along with that Roman numeral difference. But this one in particular, I wanted to show you because this one has the original leather Spalding paddle grip. Look how lovely this grip is. I mean, when it comes to amazing grips and amazing putters, uh, TP Mills really knew, knew how to make them. Like people think of Spalding as more of a discount brand for a lot of people. But when it comes to these TPM putters from the era, I mean, they're absolutely amazing. So that said, let me line up here in studio and hit a few putts with this. Okay, we're going to putt with the TPM5 carbon steel. Look at this thing. It's amazing. Uh, let's line one up here. Uh, so just looking down at it, 
uh, is absolutely a joy to see something dark, not glary. Uh, the thing that jumps out to me is this little dot on the top line. I can't see the crosshairs on the face or anything, but looking at that top line, that dot is a little off-centered, which always, you know, just reminds me that's not, you know, the middle of the top line is not the center of gravity. So it's good to see that they put that dot there. But I really like the patina on this. It really just screams like uh, <laughs> a functional putter. Well, functional, let's see how it feels here. Well, I mean, the pace control on these blade putters is absolutely phenomenal. It feels really good, it sounds really good. Uh, it feels like just a solid putter, probably because it is just a solid carbon steel putter. I mean, gosh, I, I'm i really struggling to see why anybody ever moved on from this putter. And if you play this putter you're, since it came out, uh, what version is this, 84? You know, let me know in the comments below. I mean, it's absolutely a gem here that I think is a little underrated. I pushed that one, that was my fault. I also hit it a little on the toe side. But yeah, I mean, that is absolutely amazing. Wow, I, I can, I, I always loved flange putters and this one is right up there as one of the best. This putter feels like a flange putter. A really, really good flange putter that looks really, really sweet. So here's my dilemma. So people who watch this channel and my patrons, thank you to my patrons, understand that I like ridiculous things. I wanna be caught on the golf course where people are like, what on earth is that? That's not the correct golf implement for a low score. Thank you, yes. I'm playing golf for fun, not for low scores. I wanna challenge myself and see how low I can score with these ridiculous things. The McGregor response putter, okay? It's the size of a waffle iron, you know? And it's just like, let's put it on a stick and let's make some waffles. It's huge. So I love stuff like that, okay? And then this comes along. And uh-oh, here we go. It's like the serious golfer. It's like, this is a golf implement made for golfers. How exciting is that? To me, it's like, eh, when people are like, oh, you'll get to shoot a lower score if you, like sometimes I go to different custom golf stores. I walk in, I just talk to them. Uh, I'll grab a putter, I'll talk to them about irons or drivers, and they're like, well, let's see what you, let's see your swing, let's see your did, and then they're, they're like, oh, you need this and this and this to lower your score, and if you want to lower your score, I'm like, dude, whoa, I want to hit my ball into the water and have a laugh. It's like, I'm not, I don't want this expensive fitting. I just want to have fun playing golf, and it kind of, they're like, well, you're in the wrong place. <laughs> yes, I am. So, where does this fall? You know? It's not really, you can get these refinished, by the way, the carbon steel ones, like the rusty ones like this. You can heat treat them, dip them in oil to lock in a certain color. And then, you know, but that's not my thing. I don't want it to look new. I like the way it looks like this. I love this patina, by the way. I'd rather choose this than like the stainless steel one, you know, but I'd rather have a one with some patina, not beaten up and dented, but like one with a nice patina over one that looks new or been refinished, okay? My opinion, I, yeah, everybody should have a different opinion. If you have a different opinion, let us know in the comments below. So this, I shouldn't like this because it's a golfer's implement, but I do love it because it's just crazy enough. T.P. Mills, you know, was like, oh, I can do better than this putter that came out 30 years before he was interested or interested in making custom clubs. And he's just like, oh, I'm going to roll back and do it better. Scotty Cameron, ping answer. Do you see the connection there? It's like Scotty Cameron was like, oh, this ping answer putter. I can do better. And so it makes this Newport, Newport 2 style putters with the ping answer style. Okay, so this has the Spalding Hollowback Wilson 8802 style, or whatever you want to call it, the flanged putter style. And in 1984, I mean, this is small and ridiculous. In 1984, we had the ping answer. We had the McGregor response or right up thereabouts a couple of years off. But, you know, they went for with a classic design, which is crazy. And they're like, oh, we're gonna make it out of carbon steel. No chrome. That's crazy. We're gonna make some clubs for the president. President, president, pre putter, putters for the, what? That's crazy. So I love this putter. If I had to choose between this and the McGregor response putter for an 80 set, unless I were doing a very specific Jack Nicholas master set, 
I would choose this putter over that McGregor response putter for any set from the mid 80s. It's that good, in my opinion. I really like the five here, the TPM five. So I messaged some of my patrons too when we have conversations about TP Mills putters because they're absolutely amazing. So let me know your thoughts about TPM putters in the comments below. I really appreciate my patrons. Thank you so much for your support. If you'd like to join us on Patreon, I do a few behind the scenes pictures, updates. I message back and forth with my patrons a lot. Another way to support this channel is by visiting my Amazon shop. I'll put a link in the description below. I have a lot of accessories that I frequently use out on the golf course on that shop, so be sure to check that out. I am an Amazon associate. I make proceeds from qualifying purchases. That's how it helps this channel. Thank you everybody for watching. If you enjoy this content, please subscribe. I am The Vintage Golf.